Hey, I'm Sarah Gaither, here again today at Carolina Pottery. Today I'm going to teach you how to do my number one favorite project. I get asked how to do this more than anything else. So today, you're going to become a human bow machine. So let's begin. What we're going to do is we're going to make a two ribbon bow. And we're going to, I've chosen this pattern and a polka dot. We're going to start by measuring on our hand. And we're going to go from the middle of our hand to our elbow. And that's about 12 inches for most people. If you want to measure it the first time for you, go right ahead. And so then we're going to put one ribbon on top of the other, measure our 12 inches, and fold it forward. Make sure you folded it over so that it's facing you. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're just gonna take our scissors and cut it right off of the bolt. I'm gonna cut it at an angle. We're gonna fold it in half. By doing this, we can make sure that our loops are the same on both sides. We're gonna open it back up and where we've made the creases, we're gonna cut slits into the ribbon. Now, if this is a little bit hard for you to do, you can actually cut in sections, and that's okay too. So now I'm gonna take a piece of floral wire. I'm gonna run it through the slits and twist it as absolutely tight as I can on the back. We're gonna do about an 18 inch tail. So the best way to measure that is you need 36 inches. So a yard on your body is about from your fingertips to your opposite shoulder. Again, I'm gonna cut it at a slight angle. Now I'm gonna open up on the back of my bow where I've twisted the wire. So with the printed side facing down, you're gonna put your streamers on and then you're going to twist the wire around. Okay, so now you've added your streamers and you're ready to pull out your bow. This part is just an extra added streamer. You're just gonna send it to the back. You're gonna push it around through the slits and send it to the back. Then we're gonna come into where the ribbon is back to back to each other. So you want to see where you see the patterns are back to back. Hold it with your right hand and pull with your left hand. Now, I'm a left-handed person and I still hold with my right and pull with my left. So whether you're right or left-handed, this will work for both of you. So you're gonna hold with your right hand, pull with your left, and you're going to come underneath where they're back to back and you're going to pull. And you're gonna take that one to the back and the next one to the back because you have double ribbons. This one's gonna come to the front and to the front. And then you're gonna pull it out the same side every time you're going to the back and the back and then your last ones you separate. Then you're gonna turn it around. You're gonna come inside again to where the ribbons back to back to each other. Holding with your right hand, pulling with your left. This is where you started. That goes to the back. You're gonna come underneath, go to the back and the back, front, front, back, back, and then separate the last. Now you're looking at it thinking that is the ugliest bow I've ever seen, but now it's time to fluff it. So you're gonna hold tightly to the wire, and then where you've made these slits, you want to make sure that the ribbon comes around the slits, and as you start to fluff out, you have a perfect 12 inch bow. The great thing about doing a bow this way is if you have arthritis or your hands hurt from holding and trying to pinch and twist and turn all of that ribbon, that never happens in this method. And as you keep fluffing, you end up with a beautiful bow. It may take a couple of times to learn this method, 
but in the end, every time you have a perfectly sized and shaped boat. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm Sarah Gaither with Carolina Pottery.